Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 11 in chapter 27. Chapter 27 is about magnetism. So there you can see we have a covered wire. A to B, the current is I, lies in a plane perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field as B, right? And then ask you what the result magnetic force on the wire no matter, no matter what its shape is the same as a straight wire. So we need to prove that. So tell us, uh, prove the wire in whatever shape is the same as the I straight from point A to point B. So for these problems, we can see we need to find the magnetic force of, um, of a current in the magnetic field, right? So very obviously, we can see the function is I times dl, I l cross b, right? And there, because this length of wire keep changing, keep changing, so we can cut it in small fractions. And in each small fraction is dl, so we do integral from a to b. Do you agree? Yes, so this is a way we find the magnetic force for this wire. Now you can see L is vector, B is vector, right? So we can write them in vector format. So DL, we can see is a small fraction. It must be DX at I component plus DY at J component, right? And B is in the key component. So now we input them inside. We get it look like this one, right? And you can see in this case is the I component. We need to do integral from a to b in dy, so this must be delta y, agree? Delta y. And then in j component, we do integral for dx is delta x. Now in this function, you can see, it looks like the magnetic force only depend on how the x component change, how the position for x component changes, how the component for y component changes, so this is delta y. This is delta x. So it only looks how the position of x changes, how the position of y changes, right? So it doesn't matter what shape it is. So we proved it. We find, yes, no matter what shape it is, the magnetic force for this wire is exactly the same as the current straight from A to B. Thank you.